Hey, what's up? Welcome to the second episode of the Effects Breakdown series where I break down three quick and easy effects. In this episode, we are going over these effects. Let's start with the triple clone effect. For this effect, we need to separate our object from the background. For this, duplicate your layer and select the Roto Brush tool. Then double click your layer and Roto Brush your object. When you are done, click on Freeze. Now we isolated the object from the background and it looks like this. For a better result, I will smooth the edges by adjusting the Roto Brush settings. Now duplicate the Roto layer and activate Motion Blur on the new layer. Open the transformation setting and click on the stopwatch for the position to set a keyframe. Then go some frames forward and drag the object to the side. Select your keyframes and easy ease them. For the disappear effect at the end we need to go some frames forward and click the opacity stopwatch to set a keyframe. Then go some frames forward again and set the opacity to zero. Also easy ease these keyframes. Then go to the second keyframe and duplicate your layer. Now just move the object to the other side. Now it looks like this. The last step is to pre-compose all four layers and add a fast zoom effect. But I will explain this exact effect more detailed at the end of the video. This is the triple clone effect. Let's continue with the face track effect. It's very easy and fast doo doo. Just have a clip prepared and go to window and select the tracker. Then click on stabilize motion. Now the tracker should pop up. For face tracking I usually put the tracker on the nose and wide it a bit. When you are done, click on play. When the tracking is good, click on apply and on OK. Now your tracked point should always be in the center. The only thing we need to do now is to scale the clip up until there are no empty spaces. Activate Motion Blur. Now we are done. Okay, now I'll show you how to do the fast zoom effect. For this, activate Motion Blur and 3D object on your clip. Then open the transformation setting and click on the position stopwatch to set a keyframe. Then go some frame forward and drag the last digits of the position to the left to create a zoom. You can also move the clip around like I did here. Then just easy ease your keyframes. Now it looks like this. If you want to zoom out, just set another keyframe, go some frames forward and click reset. 
Now we are done. These are the results of today's episode. If you want to level up your editing make sure to check out my preset packs in the description. Please comment what effects I should do a tutorial to. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching.